नमस्कार वेलकम टू द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रो डिपार्टमेंट आई एम डॉक्टर डी आर पटनायक वर्किंग एज ए सीनियर साइंटिस्ट इन इंडिया मेट्रो डिपार्टमेंट न्यू दिल्ली टुडे थर्टीन जुलाई आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग द वेदर कंडीशन दैट प्रिवेल ओवर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वन वीक एंड वॉट वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग वेदर कंडीशन ड्यूरिंग द सब्सिक्वेंट टू वीक्स एज यू नो दिस इज द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई and this is the active monsoon month july we get good rainfall over different part of the country and the major condition that prevailed during the last week is that north west of india has got exceptionally heavy rainfall and many stations have broken the records of more than 40 50 years also and because of that unprecedented rainfall over the northern northwest india and different parts of the india it is very heavy flooded region also prevailed and that we will be discussing first about the previous week conditions and what are the synoptic conditions that cause this exceptional heavy rainfall and subsequently we will come to the the forecasting part the next two weeks what will be happen and this is the weekly rainfall on different days during the week from if you see that is the miss 6 to 12 july that rainfall recorded and different classification if you see here with the different colors and red exceptionally heavy rainfall heavy very heavy rainfall so if you see here during this week the west coast also had got the all the regions over the west coast has got good rainfall activity very many stations have got heavy very heavy exceptionally heavy rainfall also and then also the central part of india rajasthan gujarat mp and and if you look at the northern part of the india particularly that uh, over the uttaranchal uttra uh, himachal pradesh uttarakhand then west up punjab haryana including delhi many days we have got extremely heavy rainfall and to the latter part of the week also we have got this uh, sikkim region and the adjoining some part of the north east region that also have got heavy so that means this is a very active week we have got means uh, many stations uh, extremely heavy rainfall also Uh, during the week period now what system cause this rainfall if you see look at the thing here day to day this is the synoptic chart actually means uh, uh, depiction of synoptic chart the main synoptic conditions that uh, cause this rainfall is that active monsoon trough this if you see the, the line the monsoon trough monsoon trough line and the western end actually western end is towards the south of the normal position so that create a very environment of very active monsoon conditions and at the same time the west coast trough is also very active this also reflect because when the north south pressure gradient is very strong along this region we get a very strong monsoon current and in addition to this the cyclone circulation also there but another interesting part is that if you see the western disturbances as a trough in the mid level 500 spa so this trough westerly system and there is a monsoon system so this interaction actually this interaction has given the unprecedented very heavy extremely heavy rainfall over many parts of it so sometime it happens and if you remember 2013 also there was similar case interaction so this time also westerly and easterly system has caused a very good activity rainfall and this is the this you can look at this on, on animation of the this is low level wind actually pattern how this means is because of the strong monsoon current as you see west coast trough west coast trough was very active and the strong monsoon current and it is turning then becoming a cyclone so this is a this is favorable monsoon circulation on day to day basis and if you see the rainfall wise also the initially the west coast rainfall was there but after the 9th 10 11th if you see the that uh, northern belt northern belt particularly the hilly states actually uh, even the Har- Har- haryana punjab and Chand- uh, delhi region also got very ex- uh, extremely heavy rainfall over that and also towards the end you can see here the, the that means rainfall is widely distributed uh, uh, on during the week next come and when we see the uh, day to day rainfall day to day wise this is the rainfall band but our focus should be on this red color and where it is the very heavy or extremely heavy rainfall so initially on 7th and 8th if you see yes west coast west coast was giving getting good rainfall and and subsequently when you come to 9th 10th and 11th the focus you can see here is our uh, that uh, hilly hilly state particularly himachal pradesh uttarakhand 8 9 and 10 so this this has 
this has caused a widespread bed flooding condition as you have seen in all the media reported also this is the 9 10 9 10 and 11 and the main interesting part of the rainfall recorded on 9 if you see one day rainfall recorded that means 9th morning what was the rainfall recorded over different stations i have highlighted some of the stations here that means from 8th morning to 9th morning 24 hour how much rainfall has occurred actually if you see here just see chandigarh even north northern state even the rajasthan western state uttarakhand all stations many stations have got good rainfall and and the Delhi, particularly the Delhi, if you see the record rainfall that is observed on 9th July, this is on uh, the 8th 8 morning to 9th morning, 153 mm. So that, that is the third highest ever recorded. That means third highest rainfall. So that means if you see, this is occurring after 1982, means up more than 40 years. So that means Delhi has broken the record of 40 years. So this is the third. So that means uh, this Delhi is unprecedented rainfall because we have not seen in last 40 years. And the, and the current uh, two days PPM is that is 12 and 13, so rainfall is slightly reduced. But here, interestingly, the two day morning the rainfall recorded over the Sikkim region and Meghalaya region, and one station also recorded 54 centimeter. That's that is that is quite high. Means 54 centimeter is if you say. Um, <clears throat> that in Meghalaya region and also South Himalayan, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, these are also ex extremely heavy rainfall many stations have reported. So that means this week was very active as you already we have seen it this week was very active and uh, what are the means uh, uh, because of this very active rainfall during this week how the rainfall figure has changed over the country for the season. If you look at this is the country as a whole then the vertical line is the day-to-day -day rainfall activity and this um, that is the normal line and if you look at here because of the very good spell over the uh, uh, India this is the period actually we have got good rainfall and if you see here and and for the first time after few days initially it was uh, positive but after long time gap uh, on the first time actually 12th uh, July you can say the rainfall has cumulative rainfall has come on the positive side that means till now from 1st June to 12th of July now the rainfall is on the positive side that means we, we are slightly 2% ahead of the normal long period average so that is a, because of the contribution of the current week and this is a country as a whole if we look at the region wise how the region wise affect um, say time series if we call it time series so this is the this is, this color is actually northwest india and this is the northeast india and east india this, this green is central india and this is the south peninsula india so if you region wise also if you see here region wise northwest india these three days, the three days that means that uh, nine, ten, uh, I mean, the eight to ten. So if you see the vertical peak, so that that has given a very good rainfall, and now it is also on the positive side. Coming to the northeast India, it did not uh, been very peak during this period, uh, and it is also cumulative rainfall is also less than the normal at present. And similarly, your uh, central India, central India also got during this period good rainfall activity if you see this week and also previously and it has also crossed the positive means a long period average value cumulative and this is the south peninsula south peninsula though it got good rainfall during this week also but still it is cumulative it is departure is negative that means it has not yet covered so that you can see in the tabular form so this is the weekly see, um, last week how the rainfall large excess this is the large excess above uh, 60 percent this is the excess 20 to 60 percent above normal this is the normal green normal this is deficient minus 20 and this is the large deficient so that's why the northwest india northwest india if you can see this is all this is large excess rainfall band this is the weekly rainfall and because of this weekly this is a cumulative rainfall so cumulative rainfall has come plus two percent above the normal I means uh, 102 percent right now but cumulative rainfall if you see still there are many many metrological subdivisions here you can see here large not large but deficient rainfall is still over there this central part of the and west central part of the india and maharashtra region all this region and also the eastern bay so here that we deficient still 14 subdivisions are deficient as of now and and this is the value wise if you see because of this significant contribution of weekly rainfall during this week the means 34 percent that means this week uh, last week has got 34 percent above normal rainfall and mostly it is 
reflected in northwest India. You can see 115 percent above normal. This is the uh, over the northwest India, uh, central India also, and south plains also on the positive side. But mainly the northeast India is not received good rainfall during this week. It is happening because northeast India and other part of India is somewhat out of phase. Means when we get rainfall over this part, northeast India get less rainfall. So northeast India this week it has not received deficient rainfall. But because of this good rainfall over other regions, you can see how the cumulative it, far, it has come to positive two percent. But South Peninsula and northeast India still it is on the negative side. That means that two belt are still on the negative side uh, of the uh, normal but the, your northwest india and central india it is on the positive with highest in over the northwest india and that is mainly the significant contribution of the uh, this current week rainfall over the northwest india now the, what is the conditions now means what we are expecting in the subsequent one week or subsequent two weeks what will be the weather conditions and whether this spell will continue or not if you look at this is the synoptic chart prevailing now if you see here, actually the uh, monsoon trough toward the eastern and it is toward the foothills of foothills of India. Okay, and uh, western, uh, of course, the western end is just slightly south, but this this in uh, mainly over the uh, your uh, eastern party, your the toward the foothills. And another WD also there, western disturbances are there. And of course, not very active, but offshore trough is also over here. And uh, there is another cir cyclone circulation over the uh, over, uh, west, central, and adjoining southwest bay. So, here this is a present synoptic conditions, and we are running different models so based on the this is global forecast system model. If you see next seven days, how the wind and rainfall, this is the setting rainfall. So, then for rainfall belt also over here, and even the foothill because the monsoon drop is eastern and is very active. And you will also see there is cyclone circulation is forming. That means that is towards the latter part of the week, we are expecting some system uh, low pressure area cyclone circulation and becoming low pressure area that is also likely model is giving indication. And, and that will also give the good rainfall activity over the region. This is the, our global forecast system model, gives uh, seven days uh, forecast. And based on this, our present conditions and the forecast, we are giving this warning. Actually, this is the, the means day, day to one to day five warning, how it is given. Still, with that, the, means two days we are given that uh, Uttara, Uttarakhand, uh, that uh, red warning is there. And also, uh, uh, subsequently, orange warning also there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all these 5 days, Uttarakhand region still we have given the orange warning. And the other regions also is warming with northeast sun belt and UP, Bihar and West MP. So this, this region also is given warning because of the active uh, monsoon trough, particularly over the eastern belt. And another model when we are going for uh, some extended range forecast with some longer period outlook, week one what will happen and week two happen. We run also we also run couple model and so two weeks forecast if we see this is the rainfall in week one 14 to 20 July and this is rainfall forecast for subsequent week 21 to 27 July. And this is the anomaly. Anomaly means because we are next two weeks whether we are expecting rainfall to be uh, higher than normal below than normal like that so wherever there is positive sign is here the anomaly it is expected to be above normal means it is and it, this is the week one and week two so if we look at the week one even this because of this active monsoon trough particularly over the eastern end we are also expecting good rainfall over that bed and towards the latter part of the week week one actually there is likely formation of the low pressure area and uh, initially as a cyclone circulation then low pressure area and also it will move so that also we are um, expecting to good rainfall activity uh, and but week two interestingly week two if you see because that uh, system will give westward movement likely movement and we, the west end Central part of India, Central India and West Coast India also we are expecting very heavy rainfall over many parts. Of course during that period the other belt that red red color belt is that means we were expecting below normal rainfall over the that uh, indo ganga plain, particularly the eastern and, and also northeast India. So this is the outlook for week two based on the, our couple model and another as I said ki the, this is the monsoon season uh, though we are not expecting a cyclonic system. But the monsoon system like low pressure or depression is very common during this July and August month 
and uh, this is our forecast also indicating what is the probability so we are expecting moderate probability like 30 40 percent probability that means initially first week means it will form as a initial cycle circulation then as a low pressure area and also possibility of that it become it will become intensify and or it can also become a depression so that's a week two so that's why it will move towards the uh, normal path and that operational forecast also we are indicating the genesis means how week one and later part of the week one and then in the week two this there is a likely formation of the system so in summary in summary what happened miss next one week miss week the eastern end of the monsoon trough is uh, uh, eastern end of the monsoon trough is toward the north north of its position so here foothills himalaya and your current heavy swell will continue over northeastern state for next three four days that is also there current swell of heavy rainfall over uttarakhand up bihar also will continue during next three four days that are we are expecting and uh, already mentioned due to the cyclone formation of a low uh, cyclone circulation and uh, uh, subsequently as a low pressure area so this belt also is, means uh, your central likely over central india have face heavy spe rainfall spell also will like to occur odisha chhattisgarh vidarbha telangana region from 18 and the west coast kerala coastal karnataka and konkan gaya also is likely to get good rainfall from 18 so this is the oh, during the first week but second week second week as we uh, oh, have seen the forecast map Overall, we are expecting uh, above normal rainfall for the country as a whole and particularly over central India, western part of the country, mainly along the west coast that we are expecting very good rainfall activity uh, as well as south peninsula also and but rest part of the it is slightly normal, normal outside some part of western Himalaya region because that already we have seen the eastern part will be likely to the mid northeastern northeastern region and adjoining region the week two we are expecting is normal to below normal rainfall but the mainly the overall country will be expecting a good rainfall even in the week two so that means this good rainfall activity that means we are anticipating in the miss july also next two weeks that is a good sign and uh, so all these forecasts and warnings every day it is being issued from IMD to different uh, platform so we, I mean, press release is, we are issuing and what are the things to be done not to be done means impact what are the likely impact of this rainfall event so that is being disseminated that is, uh, can be access to our website as well as app different apps are there and uh, also you can get the localized information for city forecast all these informations are available and uh, again so with this I complete my weekly uh, weather discussion of today 13 July and again we will be coming back uh, next week Thursday on 20th July with our press system conditions and likely outlook with that thank you namaskar